this is a brand new on-camera mini shotgun microphone. It's called the Minbo M2 by a company called Seven Rims. The unique thing about this is that it's a two-way bi-directional microphone. What that means is there's a microphone on the front of the shotgun mic and there's a microphone at the back so you can record two-way audio from both sides of the actual microphone. So let's go ahead and open this up. You've got yourself a very nice black and yellow hard carry case. So you can actually see how compact that is. I really like the design in terms of the coloring, the build. So everything here is black and yellow as well, which I think complements very well. So here you've got the cold shoe mount for the microphone. Now this is very heavy duty. It is made of pure metal. Now you'll see there's a switch on here. Now the first icon there, this is a switch for the cordioid condenser mic, which is directed from the front microphone. If you switch it back, this is basically using the bi-directional microphone, so both will be enabled. So it's up to you if you wanted to have one concentrated microphone aimed at that subject, then you just have it for the front one. If you want two-way audio enabled, then you switch it to the bi-directional button there. So it's pretty solid. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. Else in the box, you have two wind sleeves that go onto both sides of the microphone. This is a TRS to TRS cable for your camera. Now the good thing, as well is that this is a no power drive so all you need to do is connect this to the microphone and connect that to the camera and then you're up and running there is no battery there's no charging required and you are pretty much ready to go once you've connected it like so and finally you got yourself a little user guide if you wanted to get some information of how to set this up so let's go ahead test this out and see how it sounds all right guys, so I have the microphone there on top of my camera. I haven't connected it yet. The audio you're hearing currently is coming from my boom stand above my head, which is the Sennheiser shotgun microphone. Let me just show you guys there. So I'll display down below which audio is playing as well for your reference. So at the moment, I'm getting the audio directly from this. So to test this out, I just wanna give you guys a comparison. So I'm now going to switch to the audio that's using the internal microphone of my Sony a7 III no external microphones connected. This is that audio, so you can see it's very faint, it's very distant. The camera itself is about one meter away from me, so it's not too far away and it is pretty close. So if you're gonna be doing videos quite close up or doing interviews, maybe some reviews or anything like that, you're just talking to the audience, then you're gonna need a very decent microphone. So now let me go ahead and connect the Minbo M2 and see the difference in the audio quality with that just on top of the camera. So now the audio is coming directly from the Minbo M2 external mic that's sitting on top of my camera. And again, it's the same distance. I've just plugged it in. There's no power, I just put the TRS cable in. It's a massive difference in the audio. I have played this back and it's very clear. I don't need to worry about getting the alignment of the shotgun microphone above my head in a decent position. This one is directly aimed at me and I have the button on the main cordioid only single mic directly from the front microphone of this. So if I wanted to switch it to a bi-directional microphone, let me go ahead and showcase to you guys how it sounds from both sides of the microphone as well. All right guys, so the audio you're hearing is coming directly from the front microphone with the switch on just the main cordioid condenser mic. Now what I'm going to do is switch this to use the bi-directional microphone. So now the audio is coming from both mics. So what I can do now is I'm gonna switch this camera around to showcase to you guys the difference in the front microphone and the back microphone. The ideal use case for this is if you're a camera person and you're recording a subject, maybe they're talking, they're interviewing, they may be doing a tour, but if the camera person has a lot of input to speak on the video as well, this will be very useful for that. So you wouldn't need to have two external microphones for both people, you can just have this one on top and have the person controlling the camera and the person doing the video recording talking at the same time. So now let me go ahead and turn this around. So now I'm speaking directly from the back microphone, even though the front microphone is enabled. So that's the difference between the audio levels from both the back and the front. And as I continue speaking, the audio levels might be slightly different and you might be able to notice it. It could be clearer from the front microphone than it is on the back microphone. And finally, the last test that I like to do is I want to test the wind sleeve. So I'm going to take this outside. I'm gonna switch it to the single mic only, the main front condenser mic. 
and see the difference with putting the sleeve on compared to its sleeve off. So it is a little bit windy outside, hopefully you guys can see a big difference what this can make and I'll showcase you guys what two of these on there would look like as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright guys, so I have the single mic switch turned on and I'm not using the wind sleeve currently so let me know if you guys can still hear me quite clearly. Again, I'm about a meter away from the camera. If I step back, the distance it will still be a little bit clear as well so I'm about two meters away from the camera now so can you guys still hear me quite clearly let me know what you guys think down below with the audio so what I'm gonna do is now put on the wind sleeve come back a little bit closer and see if you guys can hear the difference in the clarity of my voice so let's go ahead and do that alright guys the wind sleeve is now on top of the microphone still it's on the single mic switch let me know how much clearer it is to drown out the wind in the background do you hear less of the ambient noises from the streets in the back maybe the birds anything like that is it a lot more clear I think it is and I think it's just so compact so easy one thing I really like about this is that it rivals something like the Rode VideoMic Pro which I used to have and it's so much better in terms of the functionality even the design I'm happy with the audio let me know what you guys think but before we close off this video let me go ahead and put both wind sleeves on and switch it to the bi-directional mics so now I have the bi-directional mic switch turned on. Both wind sleeves are now on. It does look a little bit funky, it looks a little bit cool. I've never seen a dual wind sleeve set up like this before. That's really unique to me. Now if I was recording someone, I think the audio would come out great because I tend to speak while I'm on the camera as well. I think it's great to have that relationship between the camera person and the person that's being filmed. So that's a very convenient thing. If that's something you're looking for, this is perfect for that. You don't need to worry about getting two separate external microphones for each person that is being recorded. Now I'm just going to quickly do a walk around the camera. You might not see me, but I'm going to keep on speaking so that you can try and hear my audio from the microphone at the back. So I'm now moving across. I'm now facing the back of the microphone. There's a car that just drove past me. Did you hear it? And was it too loud? Or can you still hear my voice very clearly? Now I'm slowly going to start walking towards the front microphone again. So here I am, back again. So the audio is pretty clear, right? I'm very happy with this. Let's go back into the studio and see what it sounds like by having the wind sleeve on indoors. Alright guys, so I'm back indoors. I have the wind sleeve now on top of the main microphone only, back onto the single mic switch. Now, in terms of the audio, I've played it back. I'm so happy. It's clear. I think it's just very convenient to have this plug and play anywhere you like to go. Don't need to worry about setting up and charging external microphones, setting up and testing the audio to see if it comes out clearly in distances and all this kind of stuff. If you can do a lot of close up shooting like this, this is the perfect solution. So I'm very happy with the audio. You can take a look at the link in the description below of where to purchase this from the Seven Rooms website. All of the information is there in terms of buying it from a retailer in your country. So if you did enjoy this video and you liked the audio, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. I've got tons of really cool camera equipment and accessory videos coming out in the near future, which I know you're going to like. And I will catch you guys next time. Take care.